Hello everybody, this is Bailed Hero number one. I know it's been a while, uh, I've been very ill for the last couple of months, uh, on death's door, so to speak. And now I'm back, and I'm ready to do some more Guild Wars stuff. We have plenty of stuff to look at, too. First of all, I want to point out that I have six laurels, so that means we're gonna do the most amazing thing in the world. Look at that guy's armor. Looks so cool with that tier 3 Norn stuff. Which I want myself, but I'll probably never get. But we're going to do some gambling with gear bosses. We're going to get the guardian gear. Uh, next time we do this, we're going to do unidentified dies, by the way. I think that's going to be fun. So, uh, these are pretty much a waste of money. From what I hear, what everyone says. Look at that. Char has nice armor, too. So, uh, we got two boxes. And we got... Traveler's Orion Staff of Air. What does that look like? That looks awesome, actually. <laughs> so that's not a bad drop. It is, of course, a level 80. It's magic fine. I can probably sell that, or I'll probably just uh, salvage it right in front of us. So let's see the next thing. That's just terrible. Um, so I'm just going to go like this with this salvage kit on that. Oh, that is great for me. Ectos are no longer as expensive as they used to be, so that's not very cool. Um, should let's might as well do this, All right? You can never have too much treasure. Oh, and so that's pretty much all I got. I'm gonna go do Jormag. Um, thank you for watching. I wish we got something good. We never get anything good. It's upsetting. I have one laurel left. Um, next week we'll do another one. We'll do a uh, gambling with the unidentified dies and see if we can get something worth money because I'm broke. I can never get above 10 gold. So thank you. Um, hope to see you soon. Uh, in game. Come kill me on Sorrow's Furnace. If you're on one of the teams that we're fighting right now, um, we're up against Darkhaven and Isle of Janther. You guys are beating the ever-living crap out of us, and I'm very excited because when we were playing before, we were dominating like none other, and now it's it's going to be fun. And I thank you for that, Ashley. Uh, I, these ranks and abilities, I don't really understand. I'm not sure what I should get first, so please tell me. I was thinking about guard damage just to kill the enemy guards faster, but that's fine. Uh, monthly lies. I'm not doing too well. There's only two days left, and hopefully I finish it. But thank you. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, smite and some other stuff. Oh, as you can see, I actually have new weapons. I don't know if you guys. I probably I just got them the other day. So I actually bought some exotic weapons, and I got the uh, memory of the sky and a flame great sword. Now I probably should have kept that. That Orion thing is probably worth a lot just because of how it looks. And I probably should have kept it because it looks better than what I have already. But the Flame Great Sword is of course the skin that you can get in PvP and we're going to do a video on that later. Um, and I like it. I haven't put anything on it. I do have a sigil, a major sigil of Bloodlust which I'm thinking about putting on it. So let me know what you guys think I should put on my sword. The other one is just, I just think it looks awesome. I think it was totally worth a hundred honor points. I'm gonna go kill Jormag. Thank you. Um, 